incorporate risotto in different ways. You can do a wild mushroom risotto. You can do a shrimp risotto. I'm oh, sorry, seafood or shrimp risotto. Uh, you can even do a vegetarian risotto with asparagus and wild mushroom. So a lot of different things of that nature you can do with risotto. It's very versatile and it's an easy dish. Well, a lot of people think it's a hard dish, but it's really not that hard to make. All right. Um, so we're going to get started. So we have here in the dip in the pan. And I just want to give a shout out yes. to our Facebook Live people. This is Chef Williams here. <laughs> we're getting ready to cook some stuff. I'm yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So yes. first, um, I have some herb infused oil. Um, basically, all you do, you take uh, two parts canola oil, one part olive oil. I um, tell anyone, you know, work with oil at home. What happens when you put anything into hot oil? It's butter. It gets flat or it, it rises, right? So you want to make sure if you're using oil at home or you're trying to make an infused oil per se, make sure you're using twice the size of the pot the amount of oil you're trying to infuse for safety hazards. And always move the pot from the stove to a table because worst case scenario, if oil does overflow, it's still not great to have clean off the floor, but at least you won't have a grease fire in your kitchen. It's a little helpful hand as well. You know, broken kitchens where unfortunately they didn't do that and it overflows, the grease fire, the answer system comes on, fire department comes. Never a fun thing. So especially when it didn't happen at your house. So basically, two parts of canola, one part olive oil. You want to heat, you want to steep the oil for about 25 to 30 minutes, and then you remove from the stove onto a counter, let it cool down for another 25 to 30 minutes. In that process, you're going to add whatever herbs you like. I usually use masculine herbs, which is known as oregano, um, thyme, rosemary, and I usually put some basil in there. And, that, and then I use uh, some fresh garlic as well, and then and it infuses into the oil. And then that way, you can use that infused oil to cook throughout any meals you like to cook for your family. Chef, I've never heard the term masculine. No, okay. But I, I've never heard the term masculine um, herbs. herbs. So tell me why you said that. Uh, so you think about uh, when you say masculine herbs, for example, like rosemary and thyme the, 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 on the stem, it's a, it's, a, it's a firm stem, you know, versus you have like basil or parsley, you know, so it's not. Anything you do. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'll leave you guys a finished card as well. And if you have a question about anything today or in general, you can email me. Um, you just give me like 48 hours to respond. <laughs> but um, yes, ma'am. Two parts canola, one part olive oil. Yes, ma'am. You can answer our emails. Yes, ma'am. I give you one part one time. You do give me. Yes, you do answer my email. Yes, I thought I was <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to start with we're going to start with the risotto. Um, so for the risotto today, I have uh, some onions. Yes, I use gloves in my house for every meal that I cook for myself. Why? Oh, oh! It was like, you know, just Okay, what am I So we're going to put the oil in the pan, like I said, we have the herb infused oil, we have the onions, uh, we have the onions, I can talk loud. Yes, you got to talk loud, we, we African Americans. <laughs> so you want to saute the onions, so usually you want to saute the onions so they're translucent, um, you know, so you don't want them to caramelize, caramelize becomes the, the get color, obtain color, so you don't necessarily want that to happen, but you don't want to eat risotto and you see like brown black spots in your risotto, you, your risotto should be a nice neutral color, so we're going to saute it, like I said. And they're going to be eating while we cook. So. Yes, so you're, you're eating the dish that. Do you have a shellfish? A shellfish? Yes, ma'am. It is? Yes, ma'am. So if you have a shellfish allergy, please do not eat this scallop. You can ask them for some butternut risotto yeah. and the, the greenery. But we do have an emergency room doctor in the house. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to add the risotto to the onions. And what is risotto, if, in case somebody wants to know? I know it's sort of rice, but it's not really rice. Right, so it's a type of pasta, so called boreal rice. So, a pot, it's a, a boreo. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's a boreal rice. And then when it comes to risotto, you can use different types of risotto. You don't have to actually use pasta. If you're trying to be healthy, you can do a cauliflower risotto. You can do a barley risotto. There's different types of things you can do uh, when it comes to risotto. And not having to use pasta. Sure, so while she's stirring this, and now we add the risotto to the, to the onions, you're gonna uh, let it get a nice toasty color, almost like an almondy flavor to it, and then we're gonna add some white wine. Yes, but the alcohol cooks off on wine, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, is it also true that you only use wine that you would actually drink in cooking? Um. No, not necessarily. Oh, really? Because, I, I mean, I, I, I just, I, I'm a firm believer in um, 
you cook the you cook the alcohol out, so you're not tasting it. You get the flavor of it. Um, the same way you don't want to add wine at the end, you don't want to taste cheap wine. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know it's not you don't want the wine to be overpowered. So you can use expensive wine if you want, um, but I recommend eight dollar bottle of wine, six dollar bottle of wine. Um, you can't go wrong. Like granted, if you have some wine already at home, and you don't want to buy a separate wine, then yes, you can go ahead and use the wine. That you have. So as the risotto is cooking, we have the onions, we have the uh, white uh, white wine. Can risotto is cooked in steps. So you want to add the wine, and then you want to alter the steps from wine to stock. So it's the chicken stock here that we're going to add. And basically, in the, in, the, in each in each step of the process, you're going to let the liquid cook out. So a good way also is when you make a risotto for a dinner party, you can do the risotto the day before and cook it till it's almost done, al dente, so it has a slight bite to it. And then for the next day or even two days later, you know, then you can bring it up to where you're gonna heat some cream in a pan, you're gonna finish your risotto. So a lot of times in restaurants, they don't cook the risotto from scratch when you order it that day, because it takes such a longer time to cook. So usually you can cook it till it's al dente, lay it on the sheet tray, let it cool, most people portion it out, and then as they have orders, they pick it up. Same way you can do it at home. Cook it on Saturday, when I have it for Sunday, after Sunday dinner, cook it on Saturday, let it sit, and then you just bring it back up the tenth of the day up. So it won't take you as long to cook the risotto. This is outstanding. Right. This is good. It's delicious. Isn't it good? I was, no, I was at the tasting, and you can tell I was shocked. I was like, can I lick this plant? <laughs> right? This is good. And how long would it take us to do it? Now, we're not in the world renowned chef. Uh, so the risotto, like I said, on, on average, if you cook it from raw, it'll probably take about 15, 20 minutes. Um, that's why That's why I say, you know, if you have you your in the time crunch, you know, if we go for a dinner party, 10 people, 10, 12 people, um, we're going to do it day before. All right. Will you provide us with um, how to make this? Um, yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. I can, um, I can uh, have the recipe typed up and I can send it out. Thank you. We have full service right here. <laughs> All right. So now, so now that we, uh, the liquid's starting to cook down in this part of it, we're going to go ahead, since this is uh, an infusion.